Your home could use a spring cleaning and some dancing. You are in luck because today we are showing you easy and inexpensive. Yes, inexpensive hacks to tackle those problem areas around the house. A little music helps the cleaning go yes, better, I think. And here to show us how to do all of this cleaning is the general manager of the Spruce, Melanie Burlier. Thank you so much for being here with us today. To Thank you. you so much for having me. So the first step you say are the cleaning things. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever That's gone important. to clean your food prep surface and been like, did I just use this for the toilet? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. So luckily, <laughs> the rainbow is here to help you color code your way to zero contagion. What you're going to do is simple. You're going to purchase your microfiber cloths, spray bottles, sponges, brushes oh, in multiple brilliant. colors. And then you assign a color to a specific room in your hall. Blue could be so the like, bathroom. Blue could be yeah. the bathroom. But you don't use the blue in the kitchen. Exactly. <laughs> the kitchen is reserved for the living room. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about scuff marks. Now, a lot of times people get, you know, scuff marks on their cabinets and their floors. How can you get rid of them? Absolutely. So I have a five-year-old and I let her ride her scooter in the house. Parenting fail. <laughs> Luckily. Sometimes which... it's just surviving. That's winning. Exactly. You do what you have to. But the scuff marks are crazy in my house. Luckily, what you need to get rid of them already exists inside your pantry, probably. Mm. Yes, that's a demo of like a floor mark, which we can also eradicate with a tennis ball, miraculously. A tennis ball? Yeah. But on the walls, you want to focus on either baking soda mixed with warm water or rubbing alcohol. It's really actually pretty easy because the products do the work for you. Do you put something on the tennis ball or? You know, you can start with nothing. If that's not working to your desire, maybe dip it in the baking soda and water solution. And all that right. makes it all done. Next not up. Not just for sport. <laughs> <laughs> you can use those tennis balls for a lot of things. Okay, exactly. next up is windows. Yes, yeah, so I learned this tip from my best friend's grandmother, and I have never looked back. Mm -hmm. It leaves streak free, shine behind. And what you're going to do is take a mixture of vinegar and water, spray your surface. I'll let you do okay. that to Marco. You got it. And then you're going to go karate kid on it with a okay. balled up piece of newspaper. Hey, hey, hey. Gentle to start. <laughs> <laughs> but it works amazingly well. And another reason we love this at the Spruce is that it's sustainable. You're reusing the newspaper and you're cutting down on toilet pa uh, paper towels. The smell, oh, the wow. vinegar smell. I yeah, you know, it's not it for everyone, like pickles, but yeah. it does <laughs> work. It does <laughs> smell like pickles. That's what I get for always picking on our floor crew here. <laughs> Right. Let's talk about household products right here. Yes, these condiments are great tasting and they are also undercover cleaning agents. Oh, wow. Mm. Particularly ketchup and mayo. This is your pantry's very own James Bond, okay? Your I would never yeah. have thought ketchup would help. I know. You're going to put a dollop of ketchup on your copper kettle, pots, pans, massage it, and the tarnish just disappears. It's the ketchup. acetic acid it's inside the, vinegar the ketchup in there. Oh my that's, gosh. that's doing the work. And then in terms of mayo, you're going to use that to remove another parenting problem, crayons on wooden surface. It's the oil <laughs> inside the mayo that's doing the work on that front. It requires a little arm muscle, but I think you've got that. Wow, and I see vinegar yeah. again. So vinegar, <laughs> <laughs> vinegar must be a popular product for cleaning. Yeah, you know, vinegar, when it comes to stubborn stains and grime, is an excellent solution. You don't have to spend a million dollars on cleaning products at the store. Hey, you've I'm got it you. in your house already. Get a little no tennis excuses ball, ketchup, for why mayo. We don't clean. Yeah. Love it, and good to see you again. Let's give it up for Melanie Burley A. Thanks again for joining us. We appreciate Happy it. spring cleaning, everyone. Yes, and for today, of course, and more tips like these, just check it out. Check out the spruce. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.